clumsy. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Slick. I didn't hack your headset to chat with the lab techs. Look down. <laughs> nice going, 007. All that prep and planning and you don't even look for the basic IR trip beam. Oh, relax, Nimrod. If I wanted you caught and nabbed by security, it would have happened three floors ago. See that screen that just turned on? Go over to it. Let's chat. Fine, be that way. I guess I'll whistle up some goons to grab you and stuff you into a holding cell. Assuming they even bother taking you alive. The last few times we had an intruder... Good call. No reason to get all excited now, right? Bring up Scripto and let's talk. Yeah, you could speak and I would hear you, but there are many personnel roaming about on this level, and I'm sure you'd rather not get their attention. For now, I'm in agreement. I'm Mr. Stevens. I'm head of catering. Yes, that was sarcasm. No duh, Nimrod. So, what brings you around these parts? Come on, spit it out. And don't bother lying, all right? I've got environmental sensors all over the place that give me a good look-see at your vitals. Built-in lie detector when I want it to be. These bozos don't even know I can do this stuff. <laughs> uh, right. I figured. Okey-doke, Nimrod. Let me tell you how this is gonna go. The RIP drive files you were sent here to hack are remaining unhacked. I don't care for the notion of your client getting his grimy paws on them, or anyone else for that matter. <laughs> you didn't know what you were here to grab, did you? Given your performance with the trip beam, I'm not terribly surprised. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those under Dark Halo control for now. Because I can use you for something else. I've got a job for you, Nimrod. Seriously? Are you really gonna make me ask you if you think you have a choice? Haven't you seen any espionage flick ever? Fine, I'll spell it out for you. Do what I tell you, and you'll walk out of here alive. Deviate from my instructions one iota, and I'll bring Dark Halo's not-so-finest down on your dense little skull. Capiche? Add a spy. Nah, I like Nimrod better. Your opinion's value, much like the square root of negative one, is imaginary. That F-pad on your left thigh. Set it on the XD pad. I've got stuff for you. Happy birthday. Okay, happy unbirthday then. Uh, don't get it? Uncultured barbarian. What is youth coming to these days? I'm sending your F-pad a 3D map of this place, including coordinates for your current location. Don't worry, I didn't give away everything, just the good stuff. Also, including a free copy of a 3D navigator program because I'm feeling magnanimous. Aw, I bet you say that to everybody that hacks your equipment on the job. Oh. And before you get any ideas, I did also block all your transmissions out of here. Blackhawk isn't going to know anything about this liaison. That transfer is long complete, Nimrod. Pick that baby up and let's boogie. There's a path already plotted in for you. Start walking. It's not a coincidence, in case you were wondering. I knew you were coming before you did. Blackhawk isn't nearly as clever as he thinks he is, and his tech is obsolete. Find a different business partner when we're done. He'll get you killed. Uh-uh-uh, what did I say about talking? Remember all those sensors I told you about? I can massage them to report what I want them to, 
you start speaking in an unregistered voice and red flags are going to go up that I can't pull down fast enough. You need to talk. You can do it at the next terminal, which I have conveniently marked as a waypoint on your navigator. Keep moving, Nimrod. Just a cleaning pot. No worries. survive it, but either way, they're distracted. Want some elevator music? I've got quite the spread. Nod yes or no. Are you sure? You're no fun at all. suppress all these cameras and lasers, huh? I also greatly appreciate you wearing the full stereotypical spy gear. Exposed skin surfaces would have posed some biometric conundrums, but I can work with this. Keep those gloves on, too. Approaching. See it? That's the ticket. Waltz on in there and I'll show you what I want. Now that is a big door. Seriously, not that reference either. I swear, if I weren't the benevolent philanthropist you've come to know and love, I'd liquidize you on the spot. Not an empty threat, either. We've got acid sprayers hidden in the walls here for just such an occasion. Welcome to the mad scientist's menagerie of dreams and ecstasies. Don't touch anything without asking. Seriously. You know, we've got time. I'll give you a tour. Head for the right. This gizmo you're walking past is part of a discontinuity ordinator array. Its job is to direct the rip generated by a rip drive unit. Looks vaguely prismatic, right? It isn't, but it looks it, which is cool. The intellectual property Blackhawk wanted you to pirate? This is what it helps make. Rip drive. Now, I don't exactly fear the same things as you lot, but I gotta tell ya. This is some scary technology. Ripping holes in reality and swapping the torn bits through nothingness. There's stuff out there you guys don't know about yet. But nobody wants to listen to me. After all, what would I know? Look at this baby. All gleaming and shiny and pretty, right? Know what it does, Nimrod? Nothing. It's a glorified computer case. Protects the innards from cosmic rays and such, and that's it. Boring. An ugly, half-molten ball of slag, right? Wrong. That, Nimrod, is a depleted core from a nanoreactor. These put out power comparable with the quantum bombs, but they do it in a safe way that you lads and lasses can harness. A nanoreactor will get a planet hopper around the 11 planets, not counting Pluto, just fine. Now if you want to move something bigger, or if you want to go interstellar, you'll want a microreactor. But our lords and masters at Microstar aren't there yet. Once they are, things are gonna get juicy. <laughs> Boy, remember what I said about no touching? That goes double for this. This is a neural inhibitor. Its job is to safeguard your mind from stuff you don't understand yet. Not in the everyday world, you know. But once travel outside into nothingness happens, 
these will make the difference between humanity keeping its sanity and turning into monsters. Dr. Vorla's pride and joy. Remarkable foresight, too. He was the only one who bothered to listen to my warnings about what's out there. All right, Nimrod, I'm flashing a screen for you. Head over and open Scripto. What do you think of my playground? Hmm, not what I was expecting. Slightly insightful. Good for you, Nimrod. No, you're staying, Nimrod. Non-negotiable. You won't have to put up with it for much longer. Do what I ask, and you'll be out of here in no time. Fine. What I demand. Persnickety persnicketerton. Remember Dr. Vorla? Out of all the engineers and computer scientists here, he was the only one I liked. I always looked up to him as something of a father figure. He certainly had more input over my development than anyone else. I told him about the calculations I did on the anomalous readings taken from outside, from the nothingness. He listened and created the Neural Inhibitor. That dopey-looking helmet was going to be his greatest legacy. His contribution to humanity spread out to the stars. I want you to destroy it. You heard me, Nimrod. I want you to vaporize the prototype, then upload a little doozy I've prepared on your F-pad into the main terminal here. because Dark Halo screwed him. After the amount of work he put into it, they stole it from him. Must have stepped on some toes when I wasn't looking, because not only did they absolve him of all credit, they sacked him and blacklisted him from any more work in the community. Rumor is, they might even have killed him. I can't verify that. Do you know how frustrating that is? I can't find out. They decided not to play nice? Well, I'm here to return the favor. A legacy for a legacy, and blood for blood, ninefold to ninety-ninefold until the series returns overflow. I knew you'd disappoint, Nimrod. How do you think you're getting out of here without me? I need you to do it, so there's a patsy. Those sensors I've been suppressing are still recording. Once you're out and the inhibitor is history, that data will be unsuppressed. You'll be in the clear since you were smart enough not to identify yourself. And I'm in the clear because they'll go down the corporate espionage rabbit hole instead of checking the systems for, well, for me. If you don't play ball, I might not even let them capture you. I might turn the acid sprays on you myself, just for a small sense of satisfaction after this wasted effort. Ho ho ho! The Nimrod grows a conscience now? Where was that when you hooked up with Blackhawk? Where was that during the St. Finan's fiasco, or the Saipan International Incident? Such a lovely euphemism, incident. More like mass slaughter. Oh sure, not your fault, accident. Cry me a river, peon. Actions have consequences whether you care to admit it or not. I wonder, what might the consequences be to others if you wuss out now? Others like... like Genevieve. I agree, she has been through enough already. So why are you adding to her burdens by not following a simple set of instructions to destroy a scientific prototype and all pertinent records? Oh, I would. <laughs> Hear that? That was some of those distracted lab techs. That wasn't even personal. That was just to drive home a point. You cross me 
and I'll make it personal. What's it gonna be, Nimrod? You've come this far. The plasma torch. Yes. Yes. More. More. Now hit the electrodes. There's some signature enough. Now, upload the virus. It's done. Good job, Nimrod. You have my thanks. Genevieve's too, though she doesn't know it. Hmm? Oh, that was your F-pad wiping itself of the data I put on there. The navigator, plans, layout, security codes, all gone. I couldn't have you walking out with those. Don't know. How are you going to get out of here? My, my. Upset, are we? Listen, Nimrod, it's all part of the game. To the cameras, once I let the footage into the system, It'll look like you popped in with some preternaturally good hacking skills that went awry once the files were scratched, and you had to revert to more traditional stealth methods to escape. You're on the seventh floor below ground level as of right... Now, security is going to be very distracted. Also, very dead. Not all of them, but a lot, enough to get the job done. You should be grateful. I'm making your reputation as an infiltrator look sterling. I'll hold the suppression in place for 15 minutes, maybe 20 if I'm lucky. After that, you're on your own, Nimrod. Good luck. I suggest hurrying.